Welcome back, I'm Jackie T, and we've officially made it halfway through our summer adventure. Can you believe it? Now make sure that you're following along with your daily Bible readings and your fun games to play as a family. If you haven't jumped on the summer adventure, you can go to renochurch.org slash summer adventure. It's not too late. Did you hear me? It's not too late, I promise. All right, now let's check out our virtue of faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see. Let's say that all together on three. One, two, three, faith. Trusting in what you can't see. Now that reminds me of a song we do in Camp Renovate called Nothing is Impossible. Let's stand up and sing it all together. Ready? One, two, three, go! I want you to go grab your Bible so that we can read our Bible verse together. It comes from Hebrews 11.1, 1, and it says, Faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. Isn't that some good news? I want you to shout out good news. One, two, three. Good news! Now I want us to check out a news segment from Camp Renovate News Network. Let's check it out.
Welcome back to the one and only Camp Renovate News Network. My name is Joey, and that's pretty much all you need to know. This is the place where you'll be able to hear stories of kids doing amazing things. Amazing things happening to kids and, well, just pretty much all things kids. So let's jump right into it. Beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you... Art is a great way to show people that you care. And this 10 year old gives the gift of art to over 1,500 kids in shelters and foster care during COVID-19. For her birthday this year, she collected art supplies instead of birthday gifts and donated hundreds of art kits to people in need with a smile. The art kits were filled with crayons, pens, coloring books, paper, and more. Talk about a gift that keeps on giving. In action sports, Guy Kudry became the first skateboarder to ever land a 1080 degree turn on a vertical ramp, and he is only 11 years old. Guy says he was able to complete this jaw-dropping 1080 degree feat by using his time off from school to train. So there you go, kids, go rip. The next story comes from a segment we like to call, Oh Snap, That's a Gator. Hey kids, remember the game tug of war you used to play on the playground when you used to go to school? Well, you never know when you just might need that very skill. A brave man named Trent Tweeddale, or T squared, I'm crazy strong, in Florida fought off a 13 foot gator to save his dog. When his six year old puppy slipped into the water, he didn't hesitate to jump in and fight a gator to get his dog back in an incredible tug of war. This next segment we like to call, Get It Grandpa! A grandpa in Alabama wasn't gonna let COVID-19 stop him from spoiling his grandkids. So he flew a drone over his grandkids' house to deliver a box of munchkin donuts. I don't know about you, but donuts coming from the sky? That's my kind of manna from heaven. You've got a birthday, I've got a birthday, everyone loves a birthday. Happy but one pastor celebrated his birthday in a really special way. Pastor Bill drove an ice cream truck all through different neighborhoods of his town and gave kids free ice cream. Pastor Bill founded a place called the Dream Center where they feed 25,000 pounds of food to people in their community over the weekend. That's pretty cool. And you know what? I started thinking, I'd like some ice cream. So if you would like some ice cream, you can email Pastor Lenny at Lenny at RenoChurch.org and maybe he'll drive an ice cream truck through your neighborhood too. And now it's time for a segment called, Oh Shoot, That's Cute. Check out America's newest hero. This Chihuahua has been training on the treadmill to start patrolling the streets as Superman, ready to protect the city. Need I say more? Well, friends, that's all I have for the Camp Renovate News Network. Remember, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. Be an example. We'll see you right back here next time. you but I needed to hear some good news today. You want to hear some more good news? Let's check out our Bible story this week about how Peter goes to Cornelius. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 10. As the early church grew, Peter traveled from town to town telling people the great news about Jesus and how he healed sick people. Now in Jaffa, he raised a dead woman back to life through the power of God's spirit. Tabitha, get up. Many people in Joppa became believers. So Peter stayed there with a man named Simon, a leather worker who lived right beside the sea. Peter often went up to the roof to pray. Ah, this is the life. Thank you, Lord, for all these fellow Jews believing in Jesus. But God's plan was bigger than Peter imagined. About 40 miles north, 
a Roman army commander named Cornelius was praying too. Lord, thank you for all you've given to me and my family. Though Cornelius was not Jewish, him and his family worshiped God. They freely gave to anyone who needed help. While Cornelius was praying, God sent an angel in a vision. Cornelius. The angel's power and brilliance was so strong, Cornelius fell back in awe. What is it, Lord? Your prayers and gifts to poor people are like an offering to God. So he has remembered you. Now send men to Joppa. Have them bring back a man named Peter. He is staying with Simon by the sea. Yes, Lord. The angel vanished. Then Cornelius leapt from his feet. He called on two of his servants and a trusted soldier and told them everything. Leave at once for Joppa. Sir, yes, sir. The trio left around three o'clock, marching at top speed. Around noon the next day, they neared Joppa. At Simon's home, Peter had climbed up the roof to pray. Lord, you've done amazing things here in Joppa. What's next? Mm. <laughs> lunch is next, I guess. While lunch was being prepared, Peter continued to pray, and God sent him a vision, but it wasn't an angel. What is happening? It appeared to Peter that something like a large sheet was dropping from heaven. It contained a zoo of animals, pigs and camels, rabbits and birds and reptiles. Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. Peter stared in shock. The Jews were forbidden to eat the meats of these animals, which were called unclean. No, Lord, I will not. I have never eaten anything that is not pure and clean. Do not say anything is not pure that God has made clean. Two more times, the same thing happened. Then the sheep was taken back up to heaven. Peter blinked and looked around. What does it all mean? At that very moment, the men sent by Cornelius arrived at Simon's front door. Is there a Peter staying here? Up on the roof, God's spirit spoke to Peter. Three men are looking for you. Get up and go downstairs. Don't let anything keep you from going with them. I have sent them. Still overwhelmed by his vision, Peter hurried down the steps, ran out the front door where he found the men. I'm the one you're looking for. Why have you come? Sir, we have come from Cornelius, the Roman commander. He's a good man who worships God. The angel told him to invite you to his house so Cornelius can hear what you have to say. Go to his house? Just as it was forbidden for Jews to eat certain foods, it was also forbidden for Jews to enter the home of non-Jews. Oh! In that moment, Peter understood his vision. God was making a new rule about what was clean. The story of Jesus was not just for Jewish people, but for everyone. Please, come in. We'll leave first thing in the morning. The next day, Peter and the three men set out, along with some of the believers from Joppa. The following day, they arrived at Caesarea. This is the home of Commander Cornelius, sir. Thank you. Peter must have paused for a moment before he entered the house. Though God had told him to come, he had never entered the house of a non-Jewish person. Here goes. At the home, Cornelius had gathered all his relatives and friends to listen to Peter. Greetings, Peter. We are honored you've come. The commander lowered himself before Peter, showing a sign of deep respect. Stand up. I am only a man myself. As Cornelius stood, Peter surveyed the room before him and took a deep breath. You know that it is against our law for a Jew to enter the home of someone who isn't a Jew, but, but God has shown me that I should not say anyone is not pure and clean. May I ask why you sent for me? Cornelius had explained everything the angel had told him, and Peter shared how God sent Jesus here to share God's love, how Jesus taught and healed people through God's power. Then 
he would be killed. But then, God would raise him back to life again. We ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people. All who believe in Jesus have their sins forgiven through his name. Amen. Praise Jesus. Glory to God. Before Peter could finish speaking, God sent his Holy Spirit down to be with Cornelius and his family and friends. The Jewish believers who came with Peter, they stared in amazement. But they're not Jews. Surely no one can keep these people from being baptized with water. They have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. Peter baptized Cornelius and his friends and family in the name of Jesus. He stayed with them for several days, overjoyed by the new perspective God had given him. What a great story. Here's the thing, God wants us to love all people around us. Maybe the people that look different than us or speak different than us. He calls us to love all people because God loves us first. Let's pray before we go. Dear Lord, we thank you that we are able to love all people. We thank you that you give us faith even when we can't see. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Camp Renovate, it's been a great Sunday. I want you to check out the description below for some family questions for you guys to go over. I'll see you next week. Bye.